which consists of a layer of rice. So we need to cook some rice, just how we normally would follow your package directions. I'm using jasmine rice. And then there's a sauce layer that is cream of chicken soup, mayonnaise and lemon juice. And I like to mix in my broccoli and chicken with it. You can do it as separate layers, but I don't like it that way. I'd rather have it all together. I think it bakes better. And then I didn't get out cheddar cheese, but we also put cheese on the top. So it's a casserole and let's get going. You can cook your chicken a lot of ways. You can pan fry it, you can cook it on the grill, you can cook it in the oven. I am actually going to poach mine. So I've got four cups of water, which is one quart. And I'm going to put it in my saucepan here that has a lid. And I'm gonna add my chicken and get it out my chicken in my water and I'm actually going to add probably about a, a tablespoon of salt. Um, I'm not going to add any more salt to the dish um, other than a teaspoon of salt in my rice and the tablespoon in here. So I want it to have enough seasoning but I don't want anything else to be overwhelming. So I'm going to add just a little bit of salt um, to my chicken while it cooks and I'm going to chop my broccoli up into smaller pieces and I'm going to use my Pampered Chef um, steamer for the microwave to cook it in and I'll steam it for five minutes. You want it to not be raw but not be completely done either so it doesn't turn to mush as you cook your casserole. Okay, I have my broccoli chopped up into smaller pieces. Um, yeah, you don't want it to be too small because it'll be kind of mushy if you cook it too long. And a quarter cup of water and I'm going to pour that in there and put the lid on and microwave for five minutes. Rice I'm cooking. Um, I did two cups of rice to three cups of water, which will give you six cups of rice. Um, that may not be, I may not use all of that in my dish, but I know that I'll use more than three cups. So it may end up being about four cups that I put in my casserole dish, but I'm making a double batch to make sure I have enough because we'll eat the leftovers. So I have one can of cream of chicken soup and then I, you could also use cream of celery, by the way. I prefer cream of chicken. I have half a cup of mayonnaise. It's upside down, but you can see half a cup of mayonnaise. And then I have an eighth of a cup of lemon juice. Um, if you don't like that much, I think it's the perfect amount. You can use less. And I know some people who like it a lot and use more, but that's the basic of our, basis of our sauce. I was telling a friend the other day that I use Trader Joe's everyday seasoning like almost every day. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna just grind up. Uh, I never use a set amount. I just go until it looks good. Until the uh, spirit of my ancestor says stop. So. That looks good. I would say that might be getting close to a teaspoon so it's good stuff and you don't have to add this um recipes don't usually call for it but I add it to mine because I think it is really yummy and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get a whisk out and get this mixed up really good
I normally make this in a 9x13 pan, but I don't keep one in my camper. I just have this 9x9 pan and it worked just fine. It makes it a little thicker, but didn't have a problem cooking all the way through. So maybe in the future I'll go ahead and keep using this size pan instead of a whole 9x13. If you did use a 9x13 pan, you definitely would use all of that rice and all of the chicken that I cooked that I didn't end up um, adding to my sauce. I have my oven preheated to 350 to 375. Um, for the propane or gas ovens, I'll do 350. Electric, I'll do 375. Okay, so tonight our side to go with our um, chicken divan is just some corn. And, um, and then we're gonna have some rolls, some Sister Schubert's. And those are really good if you never tried them. When I cook corn, I have frozen corn. I'm gonna add about half a cup of water. I have a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna add like a teaspoon or two of some chicken bouillon and some fresh ground black pepper. Anyway, that's chicken divine.